Hi everyone, welcome. We're down here in my wormery, preparing to check in on my bin of mixed red worms, a fairly young system, slightly more than a month old at 35 days of age today. That's only five weeks. And so far we've given these guys three feedings, and today we're gearing up to give them feeding number four. Very little reason not to follow through on that game plan. And we, um, we introduced a little bit of a twist to the way I normally feed, which is to just open up a little bit of a trench down in the middle of the bin and apply their food. We decided we would implement this style of going back and forth, feeding the system on an alternating edge of the bin each time. And it's pretty obvious where we last fed. You don't even need to really know what my labeling system is with my feeding zone indicators, but for those of you that are not aware, the feeding zone indicators that I've adopted to use are these used coffee filters, of which I've got a replacement today, so they're going to just get this old one as supplemental bedding down in the feeding zone. What we've got for them today is some stuff that's been taken out of the freezer for a little while now and been thawing for about an hour. It's a banana with some sort of a red material stuck to it, perhaps tomato or something. And the leaves down here are from a bunch of radishes. And this is the replacement feeding zone indicator, the coffee filter. And what I actually did here was I piled in two days worth of coffee. So they're getting kind of a bonus on the coffee. I've also got my grit, which is pulverized eggshell. And this stuff here is a whole bunch of uh, flaked corn cob. I took a whole bunch of corn cob, allowed it to dry quite a bit, and then I ran it through a blender to shred this stuff into little tiny bits. I've been gradually doing away with it, giving it to my worms. And you know this top covering paper was something we, ex um, we explored the idea last week of replacing. I even had a couple pieces of replacement newspaper on hand to swap it out put a new replacement um, top covering out here and I think today is the day to finally put this old Taco Bell bag to rest and include it down in the feeding. I've got replacement newspaper here to lay out as top covering. None of this stuff is mandatory or necessary in a worm bin. Top covering papers, feeding zone indicators are all just little, little aspects of my own personal way of running my worm bins almost tradition if you will. So we're going to be switching from where we last fed which was this edge of the bin over to the opposite edge. But before we do I thought we would just probe around in there a little bit to see how they did with what they got last time. I think what they got last time, I mean I could be mistaken but if I am right chances are we won't see any of it. It was the um, the, the leaves of a head of cauliflower. Not so much the leaves but I guess those stems to the leaves and I had chopped it all up into little tiny bite-sized pieces. I mean 11 days have passed since we came in here to feed these guys and those stems of cauliflower leaf were frozen meaning I don't know to me it just seems like when some vegetable matter has been frozen and then it thaws out it becomes kind of mushy and much easier for the worms to break into and consume so I do believe that the only leftovers we're going to find in here are the bedding that we used, which was just a bunch of napkins and maybe paper towels that I had laying around. So yeah, I mean the chances of finding any of that leftover vegetable matter seemed pretty slim. But you know, when I'm doing these ping pong type feedings, or I've even done feedings where we've not just gone back and forth in that ping pong back and forth fashion, but I've also done one where we continue to alternate the corners and just go around in a clockwise pattern, always changing the feeding location at each time. I always feel like I want to return the stuff that was down in that feeding zone so that it can just continue. And in this case, since this is this bedding was part of the last feeding, it seems to me like it belongs right where we found it down here on this side but if you ask me that's pretty much all there is as far as leftovers from that last feeding so 
we'll just go ahead and cover it back up and let it continue perhaps the next time we come back in here when we will be returning to this side to feed again maybe we'll see less of that paper towel or maybe it'll still remain intact I mean it's pretty easy to spot because it's you know white <laughs> and I mean if we really want to kind of also go back one more feeding prior to that we can just check the middle because last time we fed was really the initiation of this ping pong feeding where we had switched from the normal center feedings that I usually do to the edge feeding style so who knows we might even bump into a leftover two down here in the middle from two feedings ago although that I don't know what it consisted of and unless it was something some sort of a slow composting food item it's a pretty good chance we're not gonna see much if anything of that down there so yeah not too surprising I didn't see anything in there that resembled leftovers so let's um let's kinda keep nudging our way over to the edge that we're gonna be feeding today which is over here on the opposite side these uh these little wormies are doing a nice job pumping out castings all over the place in here we've been we've been wanting to be pretty generous with these little guys since they started out in such a tiny little space and then they got upgraded into a somewhat larger space and then when we move them into this container this was yet again a an increase into their living space so I uh, I want to kind of stick to that theme and keep being generous with the bedding but I also don't want to kind of um, work myself into a corner and then limit myself on how much room I've got remaining to do what I like to do which is to excavate and pile stuff up and dig down and it does feel like we're getting pretty close to the rim so maybe maybe um maybe the addition of bedding should really just be sort of a um, replenishment of what the worms appear to have depleted rather than always trying to increase the overall volume of the space in the bin because it does feel like we probably shouldn't go much bigger in this size container so let's leave it at this these things too will go into the feeding zone but I thought we would grab a handful or two of my prepared bedding and drop that down into the bottom of the feeding area down there I thought maybe we would start out by uh, plopping in that big old banana or should we put that closer to the surface so that when we come back we can be surprised by what we see <laughs> maybe that is a, a somewhat better idea so why don't we get the other things down low first we'll start off by dropping in these leaves of radish just want to make sure that little rubber band that held the bunch together wasn't left behind I mean some people just fish things out later labels and rubber bands and whatever else sort of ends up accidentally going in stuff that's not not going to break down but I prefer to try to get rid of that stuff early on um, even prior to the stuff going into the worm bins so this is my grit I mentioned it earlier my pulverized eggshell collection and coffee let's put in our coffee pretty good amount of it over here a lot of times I'll come in and sprinkle my worm chow in on top of the coffee but I've got that shredded corn that I thought maybe we would use as the garnish for the corn I mean for the for the coffee to me the big mound of coffee just seems like a big boring kind of a food item and it seems like putting something in it combining something with it I don't know it might help with its consumption and breakdown so this shredded corn seems like a good thing to put in there things are looking pretty good so I think we can 
start coming in here with these pieces of old top covering Taco Bell bag paper just paper bag brown paper bag and what was actually holding up pretty good the old feeding zone indicator that we had can come in here too but I think as soon as we place this delectable food item onto that piece of paper that piece of paper is going to get mobbed <laughs> and from all that traffic I've got this funny feeling that the that the paper is not going to last very long I just got a feeling that they're going to gobble it up in an effort to get at that yummy frozen banana not even so frozen anymore it's been out of the freezer for some time now and now I think we can just start grabbing some of this material excavated earlier and spread it around level things off after you level things off it is almost impossible to tell where you fed but once the worms get busy working on those yummy foods that we just gave them and breaking down a whole bunch of that bedding that surrounds it the level will drop and it'll be quite obvious to see where we last fed these guys but like I said feeding zone indicators are a little bit of a tradition down here in my worm bins so I'm sticking to it not to mention the fact that there's always a never-ending supply of coffee around here and coffee filters and um, I like following my little tradition of marking where I last fed let's get these top covering newspaper bits out here too to me this is just a spot for the recirculating moisture in the bin to land and once that moisture starts to collect there I think the worms appreciate having a place to go if they're in the mood for a little sip of moisture although it did seem to me like the material in this bin has got a good moisture content to it sometimes when things appear to be perhaps a little bit overly damp and muddy they stick to my glove here I'm not seeing that but still just from probing through it did feel to me like the moisture level was just about right in here so not too dry not too damp or muddy just about right and the worms seem content in it so um, so that's about it I think we're done here I've got a few things I got to take care of getting cleaned up and put away um, before I go to take care of that though let me just really quickly say thank you thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did as always please don't forget to leave me a quick thumbs up before you go that's always really appreciated and if you haven't done so already please also consider subscribing to the channel that's very much appreciated as well all right everyone have a great day thanks for watching bye bye